All right, let's talk about metabolic alkalosis. So what we're talking about here is alkalosis, which is a high pH, which is the opposite of acidity, a high pH in the blood, and it's due to metabolic causes. So how can you tell it's metabolic alkalosis? Well, uh, I have a whole video explaining this in a little bit more detail, but we'll go ahead and do two examples. So you want to look at the patient's pH. And uh, so a high pH would be considered alkalosis. Uh, other signs of alkalosis would be high bicarb or low CO2 levels. So let's do two examples. Here it tells us that the patient's pH is 7.49, which is in the alkalosis, alkalosis side. Here we see the CO2 is 44, so that's within normal limits, and we have bicarb of 28. So look first at the pH. The patient is alkalosis. Now which is the which coincides with this? Is it the CO2 or the bicarb? Well you can see the bicarb is also, also alkalotic. So that means it is a metabolic alkalosis. Another example, pH is 7.5, so you can see it's on the alkalotic side. CO2 is 47, that's on the acidic side. And you have bicarb of 29, which is on the alkalotic side. So what matches? Alkalotic and alkalotic. So this is also another example of metabolic alkalosis. So what causes metabolic alkalosis? So what's happening here is you either have too much alkalotic agents, so too much base, or you have not enough acid. So what can cause too much base? If a patient's receiving medicines such as uh, sodium bicarb, um, whether that's uh, PO or intravenously, and they are getting it for some cause or another, but they end up getting too much, that can cause them to have too much base, and they're alkalotic. Or, I told you the other pop cause would be an acid deficit, um, not enough acid. So what can cause you to lose acid? Um, there's stomach acid, if you're vomiting and having constant vomiting, that could be uh, one cause. Or if a patient has NG tube in and they're getting suction, say they have a bowel obstruction and you want to give them bowel rest, they have an NG tube in to suction. Well, it could be sucking out all that stomach acid and a couple days later, they don't have enough acid and now they have metabolic alkalosis. So another cause here is uh, not enough potassium. So uh, one thing that you, you, can, you can look at is potassium is a K plus. Um, when we're talking about pH, that's P, so the partial amount in the blood of H plus. And so you can see these are quite similar, and so they can uh, affect the pH balance similarly. So if you don't have enough potassium, such as patients that are on diuretics, um, or if they're on laxatives, uh, that can also cause the potassium to drop and lead to metabolic alkalosis. Now, when I'm talking about signs and symptoms and causes, uh, don't get this confused with diarrhea, which can cause metabolic acidosis. The difference being, this is diarrhea caused by laxatives, which can target the potassium and excrete it from the body. So what, are, what happens to the body when you're in alkalosis? Well, if any of these acid-base imbalances, you're going to be having dysrhythmias. And this is just because all the electrolytes are messed up, and the heart really needs a good electrolyte balance to work effectively. And uh, they're also going to be having numbness and tingling leading to tetany and convulsions and this is typical of alkalosis so you'll see this also for respiratory alkalosis and you can uh, see the numbness and tingling tetany and convulsions I told you the H plus and the K plus are similar well you also have calcium and magnesium which are also pluses and both of these are depressants and so if these are not enough because you're getting where you have a low mass of H, K, calcium and Mg it can cause, instead of the muscles to be weakened, they can be hyperexcited, so you'll feel numbness, tingling, and that can lead to tetany and convulsions. And you'll have weakness, and this is just because the electrolytes are off, and that you'll see this with uh, all the disorders. And tachycardia, uh, because the heart's having problems uh, working effectively. So treatment for metabolic alkalosis, you figure out what the cause is here, and you treat it. If they're having vomiting, uh, you might want to give them antiemetics. If their potassium levels are low, you can give them electrolytes. And if your potassiums are low because of diuretics or laxatives, or if their base is excess because of certain medicaments, you might need to uh, discontinue some medicines. So, this is metabolic alkalosis.